Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onyan de Guzman, and our topic for today is solving a right triangle given the length of hypotenuse and measure of one acute angle. This is for grade 9, quarter 4. In this math tutorial video deals with the second case of solving right triangles. Again, solving a right triangle means finding the measure of its parts, this time given R, the length of the hypotenuse, and the measure of one acute angle. So, if we will consider the illustration on the right side, so we have triangle P and G, and the hypotenuse is NG, and the given angle is angle G or the theta. So, we have for our three sides, so we have NG is the hypotenuse that is given. However, NP is the missing side. PG, one of the legs is missing. On the angles, we have angle N is an acute angle, which is unknown or missing. Angle P is the right angle, which is given. And finally, angle G is acute angle that is given also. So, in this case, the missing parts are two legs of the right triangle and it's one acute angle. In the previous lesson, we talked about how to use the scientific calculator as well as the online application. I'll just write down the description below so that you can recall how to use the online application as well as the scientific calculator. This time, let's solve or find the measurement of the missing parts of the triangle triangle F, B, H. So take note that, okay, the B or the side F, H is the hypotenuse and the angle F is the acute angle. So the first one is we would like to find the angle H. So to find the angle H, remember that the two angles, angle F and angle H are supplementary, are complementary. It means that the sum is equal to 90 degrees. So if we will have the measure of angle H, plus the measure of angle F is equal to 90 degrees. So if I'll manipulate this one a little bit, so the measure of angle H is equal to 90 minus the measure of angle F. But then take note that the measure of angle F is equal to 40 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle H is 90 minus 40. So therefore, measure of angle H is equal to 50 degrees. To continue with our exercise, this time we would like to find the H or the side FB. So, by looking at the figure, side H is adjacent to angle F. So, this is angle F, that is side H or side FB is adjacent to angle F. And side B is the hypotenuse. To solve this, you use the ka or the cosine adjacent hypotenuse. So, recall that the cosine F is equal to adjacent all over hypotenuse. So that is H all over the B on our given. So cosine 40 degrees, that is uh, F is equal to 40. And H is unknown all over the value of P is 28. Using the cross products, I can have 28 times cosine okay, 40 is equal to H. So using our calculator, H is equal to, just simply press 28, cosine 40 degrees equal sign. So H is equal to 21.45 units. To continue with our exercise, so this time we will look for F or this is the side BH. By looking at the figure, side F is the opposite of the angle F and side B is the hypotenuse. To solve F, we will use so, that is sine opposite hypotenuse. So, sine F is equal to opposite all over hypotenuse. So, the opposite of F is equal to F all over B. So, F is equal to, or angle F is equal to 40 degrees. F is unknown, divided by the value of B, which is equal to 28. If I'll multiply both sides of the equation by 28, I'll come up with F is equal to 28 sine 40 degrees. Using your scientific calculator, so simply press 28, 
times sine 40 degrees plus equal sine. So, we'll come up with F is equal to 18 units. So, that ends our discussion on solving a right angle. Again, this is Teacher on Indy Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.